So I was playing Fallout 4, and I wandered into the Slocum's Joe corporate headquarters, and I came across a power armor workbench. And it made me think, what if the Slocum's Joe power armor paint from Fallout 76 and the Creation Club is... canon? I mean, why would a coffee company have a power armor workstation? We know that companies would often use power armor as a means of advertising. We see companies like Vim and Nuka-Cola do this, Abraxo and Sugar Bombs, on and on. So it's not a stretch to think that Slocum's Joe had a set of power armor painted to act as a flashy promotion for their products. Probably the buzz bites that burn people when they eat them, but that's a story for another day. It's unclear where this theoretical suit of power armor would have been deployed. I don't necessarily think that this paint being a reward for the Nuclear Winter Battle Royale mode is any indication of the armor being located in West Virginia. And the canon status of items that are part of these other game modes, or as part of things like the Atom Shop and Creation Club, are a different discussion entirely. But that being said, there at least is some tangential and circumstantial evidence that this weird uh, donut paint is real. So I'm sure this will come in handy for multi-episodic, dozen-paragraph internet arguments about the canon status of donut armor. You're welcome. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more.